This is Professor Melanie Hildebrandt. This is another video for Chapter 2 um, from the text. I've had some questions come up from the homework, so I'm going to do another quick video here that talks more specifically about the production possibilities frontier and the concept of opportunity cost, which the PPF helps us illustrate. So here's a fictitious example. We have um, our country, Country A. It's a very simple example here. Um, our country can use its resources to produce two different things, fruits and vegetables or trucks. Okay, those are their two options um, for production. Opportunity cost is the idea that we have to give up something to get more of something else. Um, opportunity cost exists uh, because of scarcity. Okay, the fact that we don't have enough resources um, to give us everything that we want. So in order to get more trucks, we have to give up fruits and vegetables. In order to get more fruits and vegetables, we have to give up trucks. Um, and so that's some things that we can see here. Some other things we can see on our PPF, um, we could be at point A, where all of our resources go to fruits and vegetables, so we have a lot, a thousand units, but we have zero trucks. Or we could be all the way down here at point D, where we're producing 50 trucks, but now we have nothing to eat. We have no fruits and no vegetables, okay? Um, so in some of these problems that you guys have been working through, of getting the questions, you're like, I don't have specific numbers. It's not as much about having specific numbers, it's applying the concepts even in somewhat abstract examples. So one thing you need to realize is um, the closer we are uh, to the fruits and vegetable axis, right? So point A or these red marks all the way down to point B, that represents more fruits and vegetables, less trucks. On the other hand, the closer we are down here to the trucks axis, um, the more trucks we have and the less um, fruits and vegetables. So another question that has come up is um, how to go about calculating okay, our opportunity cost. Again, what am I giving up to gain some of the other? And so we can express this, our opportunity cost of trucks is how many fruits and vegetables do we give up? Our opportunity cost of fruits and vegetables, how many trucks do we give up? So we'll start with our opportunity cost of trucks. And so you're gonna put the fruits and vegetables on top and divide by the trucks, okay? So if we move from point A to point B, um, we give up 250 fruits and vegetables, um, but we gain, uh, let's just call that 25, we gain 25 trucks. So if we do the math out, we would see that our opportunity cost of trucks is 10 fruits and vegetables, 10 units of fruits and vegetables per one truck, okay? We're just going to flip this around then to find our opportunity cost of the fruits and vegetables. And so if we were moving back from B to A. All right, now we're giving up 25 trucks and in return we would gain 250 units of fruits and vegetables. Okay, so our opportunity cost of fruits and vegetables is one-tenth of a truck per one unit of fruit and vegetables. Okay, so hopefully that's gonna help you guys see how we would go about calculating opportunity cost um, based on the numbers that we have here in this example from our PPF. Let's also look at um, just some things that might be happening, okay, with our country. So we have country A, and I'm not gonna draw in all the specifics this time, but we have our fruits and vegetables that we can produce, all right? And we have our trucks. And our PPF looks something like this. And I think we were at 1,000 here and 50 there. And so let's suppose there's another country that we can trade with, okay? Country B. And maybe country B can use their resources to produce beef, or they can produce computers. Just abbreviate here. All right, and their PPF is going to look like this. And maybe if everything goes into beef, 
they'll have uh, 1,500 pounds of beef, and if it all goes into computers, maybe they have about 200 computers. Again, the specific numbers don't really matter that much, okay? Um, so suppose we're currently trading you know, country A with country B. And we'll get into more of this when we get to our international chapter later, but maybe right now country A um, is producing here um, at point X. Okay, and so at point X, here is the amount of fruit and vegetables we have. Here are the amount of trucks we have. So again, relatively speaking, we're producing more trucks right now um, than we are producing fruits and vegetables. Um, and, and so X is what's happening with trade, okay? Um, but suppose country B decides no more trade, okay? So they don't want to trade with country A. We're, we're getting some kind of conflict with them. Um, and so suddenly a lot of the beef that we're getting, we're no longer gonna get. If our people are hungry, we may have to make that decision instead of producing at point X, we may have to make the decision to come up and produce at point Y, okay? Because point Y would give us more food. So we've got an increase here in our food supply. Um, but what did we have to give up? Well, we had to give up all of the trucks, right? That those resources would have been used for because now we're gonna have to use those um, to have more fruits and vegetables for our population to eat. Okay, another thing that we can look at when we're talking about our um, PPF, so let's suppose we had this conflict going on between country A and country B, and a lot of the fighting um, is happening here in country B, okay, on their soil, in their, in their, in, within their geographic areas. And so, you know, war devastates a lot of different things. So suddenly country B has lost resources, okay? Maybe some of their people have been killed, so their laborers, um, their buildings have been blown up, um, their vegetable, you know, their pastures and things for their cattle. And so what's gonna happen is suddenly they can't produce as much as they used to. And so we're gonna see this inward shift, okay, of the PPF when they've lost resources. It's not something we talk about as much. Typically the book talks about economic growth Right, and so economic growth is illustrated by an outward shift of our PPF, like to this purple line, okay? Um, showing that because we have more resources or better quality resources, or typically it's actually new technology. So this new technology that makes us more efficient, we're able to produce more. Um, so anyway, I hope this helps clarify some of these concepts for you guys in chapter two.